If I can get all the designers and their showstoppers together, please. Manish, you also, please. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome as we begin day four of Lakme Fashion Week. Manish, we're going to stay right there, and we're going to begin with you. Manish, if we can talk to you a little bit about your collection and Delhi Vintage Co. If you can talk to us about Ahimsa. So the collection basically, uh, hi. <laughs> so uh, the collection is called Ahimsa. The main reason behind the collection is the word itself. It means non-killing, and we have used uh, all uh, ahimsa fabric, khadi, and uh, tissue. And uh, the, the the concept is completely uh, using Indian traditional fabrics, hand woven into Western silhouettes, and uh, that's the basic concept. Wonderful. Preeti, if you can talk to us about Nirmoha and Coraline, the collection you showcased today. Yeah, my collection Coraline is inspired by underwater story. And it's like very young, beachy, fresh. I have used organza, shio, so it gives very fresh vibe, and it's summery. So, and Isha is looking stunning in this. Thank you, Isha. On that note, Isha, you tell us how you feel walking in this outfit. Um, I feel really happy. First of all, I've just come from beach, and you can see the tan. And I think the most exciting thing for me about this collection was when she told me that it's it's inspired by underwater. It's another way of, I mean, this is where I, my thought is. I think it's another way of just promoting, uh, you know, environment. And I think it's beautiful because these are the actual real how underwater life is. I do diving a lot. So this is how the corals look like. This is how the fishes look like. And I mean, thank you for making me look like a mermaid. So I feel beautiful. <laughs> Wonderful. And Shaheen, if we can talk to you, I know your collection is inspired by a German word. Can you pronounce uh, it's it? It's a German word called Fianvi, which it means like when you itch, like you crave for travel. So basically, it's a collection based on the travel. So we have used motifs like uh, uh, we have used a lot of motifs, which which is there. So the fabrics are uh, Josie, gabardine, a lot of denims which are washed. And uh, it's fun, it's quirky, and it's edgy, I would say that, yeah? Wonderful. And Soha, you do look edgy. You, your bag is also a statement. So my bag is my book. book. I know. You know, I think it's really cool because I do like to read. And sometimes uh, you don't know where to put the book. And you don't need anything else apart from a book when you're sitting around and waiting. What better than a book you've written yourself? But what I, I'm so excited about because I've worn Shaheen's clothes many times. And uh, I was so excited that this time I was asked uh, by her to walk for her at LFW. And it so coincides, I think, when you really, the clothes resonate with you, the personality of the clothes and the designer resonates with you. And uh, it's because you're listening and nodding. So that's why I'm looking at you. <laughs> um, so <laughs> so I, I really, I mean, I enjoy her clothes. As you said, they're quirky, they're edgy. Uh, this particular connection, uh, collection is about travel, which is, again, something that we enjoy doing. Comfortable, of course, but I think you can comfortably make a statement. And that's, I think, what anyone wants to do when it comes to fashion. Uh, can you talk to us a little bit about the outfit she's wearing right now? Uh, it's a corset and with everything hand embroidered. And uh, it has A, B, C, D written on it. And uh, yeah, some telephone numbers are there. Yeah. <laughs> Manish, can you tell us what your favorite piece of your collection was? I think everything. Do I have to choose one? One. Well, uh, I think the first dress was one of my favorites. Yeah. Wonderful. Before I open the floor for bites, uh, is anyone else here going to add anything else about the collection? What it feels like to be at Lakme Fashion Week as we celebrate 20 years of fashion this year? Um, well, to me it feels really good because as you all know, I used to model and I was one of the pool models. I was one of the shortest, most curviest pool models. So thank you Lakme for accepting me and not going by the norm. I was the shortest and most curviest. Like they used to actually 
I don't know if I can say it, but actually say that, oh, get, get up. Like, little more curvy girl, okay, get her. And I was so happy that Lakme took me, and I used to be, I used to be so proud saying that I'm a pool model of Lakme. So thank you, because now, I mean, look at me. Started from the bottom. <laughs> Would you like to add something? I'm fine. <laughs> Perfect. We're going to just open the floor for a few questions and then we're just going to do a few partner bites and then the media would like to also speak to you guys. So I'm going to open the floor to questions. Uh, hi, Manish, is it? Uh, yeah. hi. So uh, could you tell us about the fabrics you have used and the color palette of your collection? The fabric is all khadi, uh, khadi cotton. Uh, it was woven in our uh, center in Gujarat and uh, the color palette is ivory, gold and silver. So, uh, it's all hand woven. Uh, so, huh, ma'am? <laughs> yes. Uh, so, usually we have seen you walking in traditional outfits in Lakme. So, what is it feeling uh, you wearing this kind of edgy? Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's liberating, I think. Um, I think there are many facets to your personality. I have a more traditional aspect to my personality. So, when I wear the clothes, I sort of feel and become more traditional. When you wear edgy clothes, it sort of brings out the edginess in your character. So I don't think, I'm, I'm unable to sort of stand still while wearing this outfit, you know. The skirt makes you want to sway and you feel sort of young again. I am still young. So what were you thinking? Remind myself, I'm, 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 I'm still young. So what were you thinking while you were walking the uh, ramp? Oh, I don't, I, I don't. It's just one foot in front of the other. And thankfully, they've put signs like stop here. So you know where to stop. And, uh, you know, they've really helped you. And, you know, people at the back say, remember to... Which, so they, they really treat you like you're two years old and they tell you what to do. So it's just about not falling down. And it's, it's great. And when you're having fun, as I said, if you're comfortable in your clothes, then it's a lot easier. Uh, I would like to ask the same question to Isha, ma'am. Yeah, sorry. What do you think? Um, well, like Soha said, I think every time I think the same. And before going, I have to always touch the floor and say, Bhagwan, please, girne mat den. I think that's my most worries. Uh, but more than that, I think today, like every time, I think it's the music because I'm a music lover. Like my 6 a.m. starts with music. So it's like the music has to groove with me and that's what I did. Like the moment the music played, my walk changed and I'm like, yeah, baby, it's me. Of course, the moment I was backstage, it was a different me. <laughs> so for the brand Nirmoha, could you please tell us about the materials you used and the color palette? Yeah, it's like all pastels and I have used lots of Georgette, organza and silk. And the embroidery material is all mother of Paul Jardozi in Kardana. Lots of handwork is there. Uh, same question to Shine, ma'am. I've used a uh, stretchable jersey, wash denim, uh, gabardine, and all uh, imported fabrics. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks. Okay, I think no more questions for now. So thank you all for joining thank us and congratulations. You. We'd like to do solo shots of the showstoppers and then one with the showstopper and the designer. So who wants to go first? Okay. We need one of just you, please. Just you.
Puneet, if I can have you and Tara and just about everyone back on stage now. Tara Madam is solo. We're going to begin by having a quick chat with all of you about the collections that you showcased, how it felt walking for your designers. We're going to then break into Ajanta by just having a quick chat with the media, quick partner bites, and then one-on-one -on -one because there are a lot of people who want to get a piece of all of you. Okay? So, I'll start with you, Sonam and Paris, because this is Alaya's first time. So, talk to us about your collection, bringing her on to work with you, and the beautiful lenga that she's wearing. Um, hi, everyone. Um, so today we've showcased our uh, spring-summer line. It's called Galicha. It's inspired by carpets and the souks of uh, Persia, Turkish, and um, all vintage carpets from there. Uh, we wanted to have a whole bohemian resort vibe. And we had Alaya do the showstopper. She was the showstopper for us. And she's looking like a lovely bohemian princess. And I think she fits it perfectly. Talk to us about the outfit she's wearing because it's stunning. So we've done like a really young graphic lenga and it's fully embroidered. It's a whole, uh, we've tried to replicate a carpet texture in these colors. And if you see her blouse is a mix of everything that you feel in a souk. It's got a mishmash of everything. And uh, yeah, I guess that's what brings out the whole bohemian vibe. Thank you. Alaya, this was your debut. Yes. Talk to us about it and to the cameras. Um, I feel like in the last one month, I've done so many new things and I've had so many firsts. So um, this was one of them and thank you for having me in your show. And I had a great time. I love this outfit. I think even the colors in it are actually my favorite colors. Um, so I had a great time wearing it. I think it was something I would love to wear and I'm so glad I got to wear it. Wonder if you looked really you. effortless. You did not look like this was your first time. Really? I was terrified. <laughs> it did not show at all. <laughs> thank you. Uh, thank you. Paras, do you have anything more you'd like to add? Yeah, so as Sonam already mentioned, the collection is called Galicha and we have incorporated um, denim as one of our uh, part and we have inspirations from the carpet. So we have prints on denims and they're embroidered to give the Galicha effect, the carpet effect. And uh, we, yes, we uh, loved having uh, Alaya as a showstopper because she's looking lovely. Uh, what we visualized is exactly what looks on her. So very happy for the show. Thank you. Thank you. And Lakme Fashion Week celebrating 20 years of fashion this season. And it's always nice to see that we can still bring first to our platform. So talk to us about that being because you guys are veterans, I think, now at Lakme Fashion Week. So yeah, it's been, uh, this is our 14th show and uh, Lakme is an amazing platform for designers like us to showcase our designs and uh, show the world what we can do. And here is a, a big thank you for celebrating uh, 20 years at Lakme. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Puneet, your everyday lives. This collection is no different and you guys are twinning. Yes. Talk to me about your collection. <laughs> Hi everyone and uh, thank you so much for your kind words, Nandita. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's my fifth season and uh, I'm super excited this time. More than anything, Tara is walking for me. The collection, uh, you want me to brief you about the collection? Absolutely. Yeah. So, collection is called uh, the Royal Bag, and it's inspired by the Shishodhya Rani Garden. And uh, we have used a lot of uh, different techniques this time while making the collection. So, I mean, it's the collection is uh, uh, distinguished in two different lines. One is like a boho chic line, which is resorty, and uh, the other one is uh, super festive, beautiful and which, which you can wear it for Mendy's and Sangeet's. So, yeah. Perfect. And Tara, you danced. <laughs> it says a lot about his clothes, about the style, about how comfortable it is that you were able to just dance your way onto the ramp. So talk to us about I think, that. I think when you're happy, uh, so that's the vibe. She's happy. <laughs> Absolutely. I think, um, you know, luckily I've trained and danced my whole life. So it felt like it was very easy. You know, when you get to wear... Usually when we wear lehengas, um, they're quite, they could, can be quite difficult to walk and dance in. But I have to say, wearing Puneet's clothes have always been very, you feel very effortless and very stylish at the same time. I think they're simplistic and effective in their simplicity. And that's why I love to wear Puneet Balana. Thank you. It's definitely an ode to both of you designers here, all three of you, that your 
you've been you've done this before tara but you were able to dance on it today and you yes. for the first time look so effortless and it's literally owed to both of you and your designs that are so simple and so easy to move in thank you so much we're going to open the floor for questions in case anyone has any hi um i'm from free press journal my question to both the designers is could you please speak about um the fabrics and the color palette because we saw that there were distinguished color palettes uh, in the collection so could you all please speak more about that so uh, as i told you earlier that this is like a i mean it's two collection i have re uh, showcased uh, together so one has a indigo and a ice blue the other one is uh, pink and steel so the uh, indigo and uh, uh, sky collection has uh, interesting boho silhouettes which are sexy which you can wear it for your holidays and uh, whereas the other collection is um, festive it's it's more like a mandi vibe it's more sangeet so yeah hi so um we've done a lot of denim in this collection uh, so the blues are coming in from there and we've always had blue as a signature color for swa for years for almost many of our seasons blue has been a very dominant color and um, the rest of the color palette has been picked up from our own archives from our previous collections and everything that works together that's why our hashtag this time is all things swa like our collection literally is everything about what we've done in the past and denim is the new thing that we've got on so our textile uh, denim is one of the new innovations using it in couture is something that is not done before and uh, just a last thing um, so that the wedding season for the summer is near so um, how many garments from your collection and which garments you think are you know apt for the millennial bride i think uh, our client our uh, garments our collection is designed thinking about the millennial bride because that is what is the future now and the present actually so i think everything from our garments and we've not kept it very um, i mean if you have like fun lehengas there are fun blouses with it you know we we we've, we've almost ditched the dupatta we won't find a dupatta in any of our collections because i think the millennial bride just wants to be free and enjoy herself so it's a lot about these jackets and lehengas you have some capes to throw over just keep it more fun and comfortable thank you so much uh, i have a question for sonam and uh, paras um, the first uh, design the saree that walked around the first one had a very interesting concept of having armholes in the pallu uh, so i just want to know how what like what made you decide and do that so uh, it was a cape or oh, it was a cape that was okay, worn okay. over the saree okay. but it was print on print so it looks like it's a part of the same right concept. right right yeah, so that was interesting cape team. yeah okay okay thank you hello uh, hi layo uh, kazan said from user right मेरा सवाल आपसे है फर्स्ट टाइम यू आर वॉकिंग ऑन द रैंप सो किस तरीके की तैयारी थी एंड किस किस क्या टिप्स आपको मिली um, जब मैं बच्ची थी तब तो मैंने अपने मम्मी के साथ um, रैंप पे वॉक किया था तो आई थॉट इट वुड बी प्रिटी मच द सेम थिंग लेकिन जब um, मैं आज रैंप पे आई तो इट वॉज अ होल डिफरेंट वर्ल्ड यू नो मुझ पर बहुत प्रेशर था लेकिन नॉट रियली बट आई वॉज वेरी एक्साइटेड एंड आई आई डोंट थिंक आई प्रेप्ट बैक स्टेज में तारा का वॉक देख रही थी या डांस देख रही थी यार आई वाज लाइक वो माय गॉड सो इट वाज आई आई डोंट नो जस्ट लुकिंग एट एवरीवन एंड एंड ऑब्जर्विंग दैट वाज माय प्रेप कहीं ना कहीं डर लगता है मतलब uh, क्या चलता है दिमाग में जब रैंप कर रहे होते हैं डोंट फॉल डोंट फॉल डोंट फॉल डोंट फॉल दैट वॉज वॉट इज गोइंग थ्रू माई है होल टाइम हाई यूर Uh, my question is to both the designers can you please elaborate more about the footwear that you had used it had the juti style and they were more like complementing uh, to the outfit so can you tell me more about it so i think this time every look we have uh, mojris and uh, potlis so every look is designed that way that we are giving like a poor complete look uh, mojris heels everything we have uh, made and in such a way that it's that i mean they're comfortable but uh, they're going very well with the collection so for the footwear for the men's we have incorporated denim mules just to be like cruelty free against leather no leather but that's what we have done for men's this is this season new and for the women's wear we had the matching um, uh, heels and sandals to go with 
Andrew. We had a collaboration with Bata, LFW has, so we've used those uh, lovely shoes that they gave us to use and I guess it looked great. Uh, hi, uh, both the showstoppers are wearing very interesting jewelries uh, with their dresses which are complementing them. Uh, could you guys please elaborate about them? Uh, so this one basically, um, we got this uh, specially designed by Shri Hari Jewelers because uh, you know this outfit had the you know beautiful pink color so we wanted something bright and uh, which is like a gold not dull gold something bright which has uh, rubies so he specially designed it for us uh, so we've given alaya like um oxidized silver but a little modern edgy kind of jewelry to just keep it young so it's just earrings and rings and she's good to go uh, could you guys uh, tell us uh, why did you choose them as your muses uh, well for us it was a no brainer because um, so it was on sunday that we saw jawani janiman and it was on monday that we got alaya on board i think she was so good and we wanted that young youthful fresh vibe just she's like a fresh palette so she's the perfect muse to mold into for any designer. Yeah, so I think when I was uh, doing this collection, so as I told you, we have two distinguished lines. So I was very confused that, you know, I ne needed a face which is apt for both because I wasn't aware what I'm putting on uh, for Showstopper. So Tara was the first name. So that's how she's here. <laughs> I think that's all the questions that we have for today. Thank you all so much for coming and congratulations to everyone here. Thank you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. Kokyal Bone and Beauty presents Payal Singhal. We have with us here the very talented designer Payal Singhal, Mitali Raj, who walked for her, a sportswoman who needs no introduction, and Mr. Anil V. Kaushal, head Lupin Life Consumer Healthcare. And joining us also is Mr. Jaspreet Chandok, head Lifestyle Businesses, IMG Reliance Limited. We'd like to begin with you, Mr. Kaushal, if you can talk to us a little bit about bringing women's health into focus in such an interesting manner with uh, fashion as a platform. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> first of all, I mean, I'm glad to be you know, associated with this privileged dais right now. And I'm a misfit here because I think they look fabulous. fabulous. Jaipit, you are also, uh, Jaipit, you are also misfit here. So, <laughs> yeah. What uh, what brings us here for the second time, I mean, I represent Corkel Bone and Beauty, is the brand promise of being strong within, which makes women beautiful outside. And uh, I think not, no one else epitomizes this better than health, being healthy, being beautiful. And this, she's an inspiration for so many women across the country. We want to amplify this, make, make the women across the country uh, make health priority for themselves and tell them that if you take care of yourself, I think then that's what makes them beautiful outside. And uh, being associated with the pile actually, I mean, it, the thought resonates with the, what she also has presented, the Hubbillant collection, and that's what makes her one of the top designers in the country, that uh, 
women are strong within, that's what they are, that's the reason why they're beautiful outside. So Coracle Bone and Beauty would be, uh, will continue to as associate with this platform and it's thankful for Mithali and uh, Payal to be associated with us. Thank you so much. Mr. Chandok, if you can talk to us about this association. No, I think it's fantastic uh, that we get the opportunity to tell stories at Fashion Week and I think the you know, best story that I heard today was about Payal and her mother on stage. You know, I, I think we've known uh, her for a really long time and you know, the influence that she has had you know, and the efforts that she's put into, you know, your business and, you know, we've spoken about it as well. You know, that in itself is such a beautifully strong story in itself. And obviously having Mitali here, you know, there's, you know, no one who epitomizes beautifully strong as she does, you know. So for the Corcal brand, I think it was such a beautiful fit. And we're just glad that, you know, this could come out in such a fun show. I was just telling her that I absolutely loved it. So glad that, you know, this was a very, very strong association. Uh, yeah, so um, first I'll kind of talk about my collaboration with Corcal. And I was really excited to do this show because uh, like, you know, what Corcal stands for, which is beautifully strong, is so in sync with what the Pile Single brand stands for. We talk about uh, being, uh, you know, independent women, being uh, confident women, being women who uh, kind of can take the world. And you cannot do that unless you're strong and you're internally strong. And that's kind of the story that I told through the Corcal video, which is that, you know, the in 20 years of being at Fashion Week, I haven't taken care of my health. And I'm actually going to use this as a you know, benchmark or, uh, you know, a timeline to make sure that I now take care of my health. Uh, when I uh, found out that Mitali was going to walk for us, I was, I mean, I can't even tell you, I was having a fangirl moment myself. And uh, I don't look very fit and fine and like, you know, sporty, but I'm a huge, huge fan of uh, uh, women sports women, you know, like sports, sports women, because I feel like it takes a lot, you know, as you've seen in some movies and stuff also, it takes a lot for a woman to manage her home, her career and especially a sports career because it's something which is really physically uh, demanding and uh, that's why I'm a huge fan and uh, to dress Mitali in a feminine soft corkal color pink uh, lehenga with you know the summery vibe which is kind of uh, what we're doing with our collection now is kind of going into a more uh, you know that there should be no divide between Indian and Western clothing it's kind of uh, seamless it's like uh, just Indian craft that's all you know it's things that we make in India and that's about all that it should say about it being Indian eventually in the world uh, platform is that you know she's wearing something which is a lehenga obviously but it can be worn to like a black tie event, a cocktail, anything and uh, I think she's carrying it off beautifully so I'm like truly honoured. Thank you so much and Mithali, what did it feel like being at like May Fashion Week walking for Payal for a collaboration which I think you epitomise like they've said brilliantly? Well I think um I have to thank Payal for, uh, uh, you know, giving me this uh, experience of making my debut on Like My Fashion Week. And um, as she mentioned, and uh, I, I feel that, you know, she herself is such a strong woman, passionate about what she's doing. And her mother being her influence, very similar to my journey. And uh, uh, I'm happy that I am uh, had this collaboration with Payal and... Uh, Corcal for because uh, even I believe in being very healthy and eating right. It is a great platform to promote women's health and uh, being an athlete myself, I would like to stress on the strong being beautiful because that's what I truly believe and if you're strong, healthy and beautiful from within, that is what reflects on your confidence and you have that aura to carry it and uh, I thoroughly enjoyed wearing this outfit and uh, in fact it is comfortable and I like the colour and I, I guess this is my fashion because I like to be comfort comfortable, that's what uh, beauty and fashion is for me is to be comfort and being confident. Wonderful, that was so beautifully put, thank you so much. Um, we're going to shortly ask the media if they have a few questions for you, then we're going to break into a few partner bites and there's definitely media that wants to speak to both of you about the collection, the collaboration and what they can look forward to from you. So, ladies and gentlemen, any questions from anyone? Uh, hi, Payal ma'am. Uh, would you like to elaborate about the motifs you have used in your collection and the fabrics you have used? 
so basically the collection was called Parvane, which was uh, taking, you know, inspiration from Beautifully Strong, is that when a little caterpillar becomes a butterfly and a woman coming into her own. So this is a little garden, like a summer garden, and we've done it on organza, and it's a mix of zardozi and applique work with kantha stitches. Uh, so about the color palette, what have you used overall? So in the whole collection, we've used nice muddy pastels, but uh, especially for the showstopper outfit, we, there are these two colors for Corcal, which is the blush pink and the hot pink. We've used the blush pink. Okay. Let's do another round of photo ops, guys, if we don't mind. Oh, please. Could we have the designers join Shrata, Pankaj Nadi? <laughs> one second. M Mr. Sharma. Could I just have one of three of them? So just one or three of them and then one with you. Ladies and gentlemen, what a way to end day four of Lakme Fashion Week, Summer Resort 2020. We celebrate 20 years of Lakme Fashion Week and Day four was Arlan presents Pankajan Nadi. Could we have a big hand? I think they deserve it, right? Thank you, thank you. We have with us today uh, Mr. Heyman Sharma, sector head polyester reliance. So before we get to the talented designers and the show-stopping showstopper, could you tell us a little bit about um, Arlan, the next-gen fabric? Uh, and this association with Pankaj and Nidhi? First of all, um, I think what we have seen, uh, uh, a beautiful collection. So Pankaj and Nidhi, thank you so much for, for putting this whole thing together. And uh, <clears throat> so what we have seen um, is fashion and functionality. So this is what we aspire to do at Reliance is to provide um, aspirational uh, needs to the, to the modern consumers. So we have seen very well done fashion uh, aspects in the collection. And uh, what we were very happy to see that uh, our designers have used the functionality part of our products, R Elan, very well into the collection. So we have, at Reliance, we have a lot of emphasis on technology. And what you have seen here is a lot to do to provide comfort, feel, and look uh, to the fabrics and to the consumers. And we do a lot of research in our organization uh, to make sure that we have uh, various aspects toward the comfort to the body covered, like sweat management, like uh, fresh feeling, like a uh, very good feel to the body and so on. So we were very happy to see that the functionality of RELAN were truly used in the collection and very, very well, very well described. Besides, uh, the, besides the functionality, uh, we also focus on uh, an aspect on the sustainability. Uh, we believe in circular economy. Uh, at Reliance, we process more than one crore PET used bottles into our plants to make textiles. So they are the sustainable textiles. So these are the modern needs of the modern consumers. And this is also the requirement of the modern society. So this is our contribution toward making sure that we participate more and more into the sustainability. 
So we were very happy with the show. So Arilan comes in from the house of uh, Reliance Industries. This is a new baby, born two years ago. We, have, we are very happy with the progress. We have touched base and we have provided consumer solutions to more than 50 global brands and the local brands. Arilan hand tag is seen in more than 10 million garments in India and worldwide. So we are very happy with all that. At Reliance, we say, stay committed that we will continue to develop more and more newer and newer attributes in Reliance, in our land product range, and we will just stay ahead to meet the demands of the modern consumers. So thank you very much once again, Pankaj and Nidhi, for coming together for this, uh, with this beautiful, beautiful range. And Shraddha, thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Sharma. Um, on to the designers, Pankaj Nidhi. Tell us about what it was like working with this fabric that is truly defining the future of fashion at Lakme Fashion Week. Hi, everyone. Thank you for being here and for supporting us and cheering for us. Uh, when Arilan approached us with this collaboration, uh, we had no idea what kind of thing it would unfold into but it was really a revelation for us. We've been in this business a long time, but such amazing fabric is being made in our own country with such amazing technology. Thank you, Arlan, for bringing this to us. And we've actually made the whole collection. The, the base of it is the fabric. Sometimes we start with a certain idea about something, but here the fabrics have defined everything about the collection. Uh, the, the sweat absorption has defined all the fitting body shapes that we made for the show. Uh, we also love the fact that, uh, you know, think about it. You were at an airport a few months back. You bought a bottle of mineral water and you put it in the dustbin. That bottle probably got into a recycling plant, went to our land factory, and that bottle has made its way into Shraddha's outfit today. How amazing is that, that the waste is being converted into fashion so amazingly. We all need to do so much to promote sustainability and we feel like we've uh, taken, uh, taken a step in that direction by collaborating with Arlan. So thank you for doing that. Thank you for having us. Thank you, Pankaj. Nidhi, just to, if, you if you'd like to add on, uh, what went on to deciding that Shraddha will be your showstopper? I think uh, we were really happy to hear that Shraddha is the showstopper. She fit into every single look and she wanted to keep all of them. <laughs> I said, after the show, you could, you know. <laughs> so it was absolutely fun and I've never seen such a fun showstopper. She was so chilled out about it. It was so much fun. You know, people are too serious and too proper and like posing and all that. And she was clapping over. So, such a pleasure to actually work with her. Such a pleasure. Also, on, if I could just add, she's a youth icon, and she uh, does fashion a great service by representing it. And thank you for walking the catwalk and for wearing our land fabrics thank with you. such beauty and elan. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Shraddha, on to you. We all want to know, um, of course, like, like Nidhi said, that you love sporting almost everything that they had designed. Um, what did you think of their collection about sporting uh, fabric that's made out of Aralan and show-stopping on day four at Lakme Fashion Week? First of all, I'd like to say a good evening to everyone. Um, in one word, if I have to say, I feel really proud of the fact that um, that fashion, uh, be it even in films, be it in a lot of fields, sustainability is being kept in mind uh, and being included in creativity, which, uh, which is, I think, a really, really amazing step. And uh, it's something that I also try to do in my life as much as I can. Uh, I'm taking my baby steps to try and lead a more sustainable lifestyle because that's the need of the hour for our planet. I would like to say that it's absolutely amazing that Arilan has kept this in mind and uh, has used the road of sustainability in the fabrics because I think that, as I said, that it's extremely important for everybody to uh, really inculcate this into their lives. So I'm really happy, very, very happy. Uh, 
I wouldn't have it any other way. I, I would say that it's a very proud moment for me to take the ramp for Pankaj Anidhi, for to be a part of a cause which is for the planet. So I'm really, really very proud to be here. And I would like to say thank you so much for having me. And um, it's, it's a very close part of me uh, to try and improve myself uh, as a human being to try and, you know, keep our planet in mind. And um, I have to say that the collection is absolutely amazing. I would love to wear pretty much every single outfit. And the, this uh, beautiful iridescence that's there that I'm wearing today is just, it's one of my most favorite. I don't know if it's a color, but it's just, when you see it, you just feel so happy. So uh, it, it's one of my most, yes, abs I would say this is like, a unicorn, yeah. you know, absolutely. This is like, and I love unicorns as well. So I'm really, really very, very thrilled to be here. So thank you so, so much for having me. Absolutely love the collection and love the ethos behind it. Thank you. Thank you, Shraddha. You all have made us very happy today. So thank you very much thank for that. You. I'm going to open the floor for questions. Um, so if we have any. Hi, Pankaj. Hello, Nidhi. So good to see you always in Lakme. Just tell us about the collection which you showcased on the ramp. So many new things we saw on the ramp, the collections, the collection which you showcased on the ramp. Just now. Just now. You want us to? Sorry, I didn't. The collections, the designs. Yeah. Tell us about every time it. You, new, you invent something new. Okay. Uh, Sorry, voice was echoing, but I'm supposed to speak about the collection. What stands out in that collection and a little bit about the ah. inspiration behind the collection, besides, of course, working with Aralan. Okay, I'm not saying this because Aralan is here, but actually it was because of the fabric. Uh, we wanted to use Aralan fabrics for, for actually their technological aspects. Uh, like I said, there were t-shirts and bodycon dresses there, which were made uh, in the Feel Fresh fabric. So it's sweat absorbing and it's actually doesn't smell even if you wear it for two days. Not advisable or advisable if you want. <laughs> but, and also we love the fact, like we said about sustainability, you know, all of us wonder what should we do in, in our bit to promote sustainability. And if we are going to use this textile as designers and hopefully as uh, inspire other brands to also partake in that exercise by using uh, these textiles, that'll be quite amazing. But quickly on the collection, it was an uh, art-inspired collection. It's called Art Fluence and uh, derivative of 50s wallpaper patterns like such as this. And uh, it has all our signature weaving techniques, beautiful painterly florals and uh, fresh summer wearable, hopefully. Thank you. So could you tell about the motives you have used in your collection and uh, could you explain about Shraddha's outfit as well? Yeah, so Shraddha's outfit is actually like a classic cuboid illusion. Sorry if that sounds complicated, <laughs> but that's the idea. It's meant to look like 3D cubes where it's actually flat and it's actually made by weaving three kinds of Aralan fabrics uh, and they form into this fringe uh, sort of... Um, bodycon and fringe this thing and I think she's been having fun twirling around in it so I think hopefully we did that justice. <laughs> All right, about and we have motives, motives, motives. Uh, you used yeah, a lot of geometric motives. motives offset with beautiful florals. We have room for one more question. Anybody here? Is that all? Uh, if I can ask one more thing, Shraddha, uh, how, what was your thoughts while you were walking the ramp for Pankaj and Nidhi? What were my thoughts while walking? Uh, you know, I feel like when you feel good with what you're wearing, you don't have, it just, you just feel great. And I'm feeling so great wearing what I'm wearing today. You know, it's making me feel happy. It's making me want to twirl. It's making me want to <laughs> wear a lot of the other pieces in their collection as well. As I said, the irid iridescence that they've uh, used in the collection is one of my most favorite things in the world. And um, yes, so I felt, I felt like I really loved what I'm wearing. And I felt really proud to be the face of their collection today. So I was super, super happy walking.
Yes, thank you. Thank you, Shraddha. We have one more question. One last one. Hello, sir. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the process in creating these fabrics? I can't hear you. Process and creating fabrics. The process of creating fabrics. Sorry. Process? Yes. Okay. Uh, we have, um, we, we, can, we can develop these uh, products in many ways. Um, as I mentioned that we have very intensive uh, research and technological support for our products. Uh, we can do it in many ways. Like we can, we can make advanced raw material improvements we can make improvements in the process of, of our, our manufacturing process, manufacturing operation. Uh, we can also uh, improve uh, the way we have various hardware in our plants. Uh, we can do all the things together. We can do independent things. Um, some of these things are very, very unique things. And some of these things are even patented because we do it only the way we do it. Uh, so everything put together, and of course we have we have a very strong uh, R&D base. We have people working in the organization for many many years. Cumulatively, the experience of these people will will be hundreds of years put together. So everything put together, I would say this is combination of people, combination of technology, combination of process innovation, combination of also knowing what is the requirement from the consumer side. So we try to make everything together to deliver to consumer, which a consumer would like to have. Thank you, sir. Thank you. With that, that's the end to the post show conference. Could we have one photograph of all of you one more time? And then we'll move ahead. Thank you. Hey, Mumbai. 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 Hey, Mumbai.
पीछे जाइए वन स्टेप पीछे जाइए
Thank you.
Thank <laughs> you.